Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dog and Rope 2 Goodbye Despair. We just got done finishing up the last class trial, but apparently Nagito has something that he left for us in the video that we didn't see. We're gonna check that out right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up! Yes, here we go! Hey, you're late. Is it true? Nagito really left another message? Kneel before Miss Sonia and thank her. She was the one who found it. <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamster, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. Aw, she has Gundam's hamster. Which one? The big one? The little Gordo? Listen well. Oh, a coincidence, you say? Wrong. That is the will of causality guiding you. What the hell is going on? Huh? Like, I see the little glitching out stuff. What does that mean? Why would Miss Sonya be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that. Damn right. So anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, something's definitely up. Like, it's glitching out like the Matrix type shit. Um. Who's watching okay. Message. Sorry, Nagito. Sorry, I know we got the same birthday, but I thought we were in sync. But if you're gonna say it, then fine. Is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended the way he hoped it would. Damn it. Nagito was trying to kill everyone except the traitor. Damn it. It was just as Monokuma said. So he really set up the traitor as the killer? And he even tried to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? <laughs> Enough with your... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh, the ultimate imposter thing of Kuya. Okay, something is definitely up. Mostly because Hajime woke up. Chiaki, who's not even alive anymore, was telling him that Nagito left a message. Now we see Gundam. Now we see Thick Kuya. So something is definitely up. Obviously! I mean, I know you guys want to shake me and be like, Duh, Jay! But yeah, something's wrong. Something's definitely wrong. Enough with your useless talk. It appears there's still more. Okay, well, let's watch more. Thick Kuya, stop interrupting us. But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, How unfortunate. then unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Now then, now then let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why. I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. The special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... What? Gingdom boy jo kyum spam The Future Foundation's traitor must have known that truth all along. And so, I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolve to take action immediately. I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. Oh, so he's the ultimate protagonist? Okay, I have a theory. A game theory. This shit ain't real, is it? But now that I know that truth, as I look back on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us info about the island's mystery and the future foundation, He's raising all your hopes. Like, I feel like this whole thing is glitching out. Like, they're in a simulation. Like, real-life Matrix-type shit. And they're plugged in. Like, they got all holes plugged. But only so he can lead you to the unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is... <laughs> yep. Yeah, I feel like we're in a simulation and this shit is glitching out. Because characters that are dead are back. Jeez, what a hopeless truth. Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? Now then. But that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go to. The key to enter that place is that message you found at Nizumi Castle. To all subjects, the password to guide everyone. Oh, but somebody scratched that shit out. Normally, you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an easter egg or something. It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monami. But that has nothing to do with me. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys will think you're gonna die. Something, stop it, don't stop. I had to hide this until my plan came to an end, but I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then, 
I'll announce the password. Watch, it's gonna glitch out. Oh, one one zero. Is it Leon? Bro, it's Leon. That is the password that was written in Izumi Castle. You have to use that to enter the specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. No. Please no, Nagi! The the please call me the ultimate hope? You want me to call you that? I'll call you the ultimate hope. I'll call you whatever, my guy. This was Nagito's final message. Dude, that's hella sad. Um, that 11037 number that Nagito said was the password. There's... See, look, look. Even this girl back. Redheaded. Ass told by Ginger looking ass. Hey. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. You're right. Let's go. See, they don't think it's weird that all the dead characters are back? I mean, obviously, there's got to be something going on. Like, I think that this shit is some Matrix type thing. Like, you know, in the Matrix, they had that thing plugged in the back of their head. I think that's what it is. Like, they on some other shit. Look at that. Look what's happening here. Bitch going oogly googly on me. Now's not the time to relax. I need to hurry to the ancient ruin on the second island. Yeah, I'm not even relaxing. It's snowing? Bro, I'm freezing my titties off? And look, no names of anything is popping up. Where do I got to go? I got to go to the ancient ruin, right? So I got to go to island number two, but where in the holiest of fooks is that? Hold on. This is it. This is it. Oh, my God. I can't believe my dumbass went across it three times. Ruins. Yeah, my life is ruined. My memory is ruined. I can't even think straight. Um. Somehow, it is quite nerve-wracking. Yeah. Is it really safe to go inside? What's going to be in there? You are a boy, it's so but... unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? <laughs> There's also that countdown! There's no time to stand around! I'm gonna do Damn right! It's our last chance to get inside! I'm starting to feel nauseous from the thrills, the chills, the kills. Ah, uh, if you're gonna let it out, why not do it in the Tupperware I keep with me? Hey, now's not the time to mess around. It's gonna be all right. You don't have to worry. I will protect my young master. Now then, let's go forward together. <laughs> the hell? Don't treat me like a kid. This is your leader. Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. Fake leader. <laughs> oink, 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 oink. What? What was that? <laughs> I told her that you only understand piggy talk. <laughs> I said you're so cool in piggy talk. In the name of I'm going family. to kill you. Hajime. Hajime, the password, please. Yeah, I know. Who created that password? Because Leon is obviously from the first game when Sayaka died. So they kind of reused it for the second one. Did Monokuma write that password? 11037, right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future! Can you type any slower, my G? God damn. Sense of urgency, please. But at least it opened. We are now going in the name of freedom beyond this door. The future is waiting. A sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. Psych! You thought... Yeah, this gotta be a simulation. Like, I'm calling it right now. 100% a simulation. Call in this shit. Let me get a sippy. Let me get a sip of this. Mm. Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground. Thank but God they're talking, because I was sipping on that. The vibe is way good. different than the one from before. Got my pink drink. Um, by the way... Wait, is that Sonya's real voice? Huh? Um, where did everyone go? Hmm? Everyone? What? Something's wrong? What did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... The whole screen is falling down like little blocks. What in the whole list of shits is going on here? This world... This world what? This world stinks? This world's fun. Oh, zero, 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 zero. We got quadruple zeros? Oh, shit. We got the quadruple shits, everybody. Okay. Did I get a bad ending? Ain't no way, right? Like, I wasn't supposed to do anything else. I was supposed to go straight to the island 
and then this thing was supposed to blast off Team Rocket style? Like, come on, man. Nah, no way I got a bad ending. There was only one way out of this, and it was this way. Stage clear? Even the game don't know. It's like, stage clear? M maybe? Maybe? Like, I don't know. Chapter zero, heading to the school trip. This is kind of like the first one, right? Because didn't the first one repeat with uh, Makoto going to the school again after one of the chapters ended? It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. The shaking was quite irregular, just when you thought it was a series of small shakes. It would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent, detecting regularities among irregularities won't be that difficult. Ah, uh, how boring. Oh, Nagito, I should have done my Nagi voice! On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. Okay, it wasn't actually Nagito. It was clearly directed at me. Haha. <laughs> You look like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Ships? Oh, that's right, that's it, so this is a ship. Ha, <laughs> so you just realized that now? Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. Instantly, I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile, but under that thin skin, I could detect a foul, offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? It was a smell exclusive to those who are already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that... Yup, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Ah, so that's your talent then. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly, that's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. Uh, possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Host Peak Academy too, right? So you're one of us? Oh, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Aw, oh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. Who the hell am I talking to? Like, who am I right now? Who's these three question marks? People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who do possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. You know who I think I am? I think I'm Biakuya, because he said how boring. But he also said that he possesses luck. So maybe he's Makoto. Maybe the person that I am is Makoto, because Makoto was also the ultimate lucky student. It makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Ah, uh, perhaps. Does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world. Not even a speck of dust. Actually, Makoto doesn't even talk like that, though. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But what are you planning to do? Now that you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well, using people is a talent, too. It is now my turn to use that person just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about the ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already... I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me, even now, it rests in my pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Then, will I be able to see her again? Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? And this time... Will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Hate? Then, explain your hand. Ah, uh, this? The end of that bandage. I didn't know Nagito had long painted nails. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, do you, my guy? The end of that bandage. 
is a woman's hand, right? <laughs> oh, this is a woman's hand. So it's actually not his hand? Wait, why did his hand end up like that in the first place? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. I see, so you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. Uh, I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know. Because she's my sworn enemy, because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power, and for that I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Huh? That's strange. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, look out the window. We're finally here. You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once we get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I am loved by talent. But, no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Huh? Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we had to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you are boring. God damn, Nagito is anything but boring. Who is this three question mark bastard? I should slap them in the face. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Who the hell was that? Tell us! Bro, you can't do that to us, man. You're just tugging us along, and we can't even get the satisfaction. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb because they said they have luck, too. I think that might be Makoto, but Makoto does not talk like that. That's also like, it might be like a Makoto Biakuya love child or something because Biakuya says boring, but Makoto's the one with the luck. So I don't know. Huh? What is this? What is what? Oh, it's the door to the classroom. Wait, this is the same thing um, from the beginning of the game. It's a door. There's a door. Huh? A door. Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, where am I supposed to go? Just open the door to the blinding light. My god damn, this shit gonna make me blind. Some Hella Keller type shit. I mean, she was deaf too, right? Maybe the light can make you deaf too. Da, da, da. Huh? Isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground, but then why? It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before. When we were all gathered in that classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. But where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? Ding dong bing bong, baby! That's familiar! That's connecting! At least that shit still hits! Well, kinda. It's glitching out again. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to Yo, you all. Yo, what's going on, everybody? So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. Oh, the gymnasium. That brings it back. Gotta go to the gym for the meeting spot, huh? Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it. He said, welcome to Hope Speak Academy. But why would this place be Hope Speak Academy? And not just that, what is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? I guess. I mean, that's pretty cool that we start in this school now. Leave here, yes. Maybe we're gonna see something that we shouldn't see? Oh, wow! Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the Funhouse. 
That's right. That's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go. And definitely clear things up. Okay, I still remember where to go. I didn't play Danganronpa 1 that long ago, so all I gotta do is I just gotta go right here. Oh my god, maybe it is a long time ago. Wait, this is where, um, what's that guy's name again? The one who was, like, good with the games? What the heck? He was that big dude with glasses. Yeah, go inside! God damn, get inside the freaking door. Okay, yeah, this brings it back to, like, what, one or two months ago when I was playing the first Danganronpa? Oh my god, the gym. <laughs> oh, man. Brings back the memories. It was a normal gym. Damn right. Yo, Hajime. Yo. You heard the announcement and came here too? You guys did too, right? I mean, obviously they're here, Hajime. Why can I ask a dumbass question like that? Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Host Peak Academy or something? That is. That cannot be possible. Well, You're right. Yeah. Any way you look at it, it's impossible. Hello! How does it feel to return to a long-awaited Host Peak Academy? Why, you... you? You... Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? What a shock! I just told you guys this is Host Peak Academy! Of course There's no way in hell that's true! No, no! Oh, but it is! I mean, this is definitely Host Peak Academy! Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Host Peak Academy fell to ruin. Lies. You were serious about that? I don't believe it! But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for. What do you mean? Huh, anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you Host Peak Academy, and you don't even feel surprised or nostalgic. I do. I feel nostalgic. Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Here, right here. Bing, 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 bing. Someone. Don't fuck Enough me. with this bullshit. Just spit it out already. Where'd you take us, you bastard? Um, Though I am not certain of my memories, I believe we entered the ancient ruin and... In other words... It means... I made this host big academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin. Mm. What do you mean between? Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean made? What's this? Oh my, are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? <laughs> good, very good. It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. Entertainment? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way. It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. Shing. It's just a simple graduation exam. <gasps> then, what is the graduation exam? Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. Are you but on the other this? hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So... That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Huh? We're obviously going to get out. There's no way we'd stay here. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. You can't do that. The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Um, main cast? Hey, Meaning um, you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. Ooh, who's the guest of honor? So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Host Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... <laughs> all the info is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. So please rest assured and strive to do your best during the field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Um, what is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey! Like, he kept insisting that this place is Whole Speak Academy. Hmm. But that's impossible, right? What are you saying? How do we make it back to Hostbeak Academy from a tropical mm -hmm. island in the first place? It's impossible. It cannot be. There is no place for Hostbeak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. <sighs> I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building is really Hostbeak Academy? I mean, maybe, baby. This 
is the Hope Speak Academy I've been admiring for so long? What in the world is going on? Damn it! Why is this happening? Why? Look at that little innocent fuckboy smile. I was finally able to attend Hope Speak Academy. I finally thought I'd be confident in myself. Even so, I... Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and strong will. And, the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or, were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <sighs> you're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. If I really am a nobody then, you should have just left me alone. Why? Why do I have to go through something like this? Um... Hajime, did something happen? Huh? Hey, bastard! Now's not the time to zone out! Sorry, it's nothing. Um... I don't really get it, but... Is that all? I'm gonna as die. long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey! Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um... If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Jeez. Even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit. Which means... The Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. You serious? So they're not the World Ender? Then we were really tricked by Monokuma? However... However, the Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter... I believe Monami never once denied that. Damn. Even if they're our allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that info on our own. Chiaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm. So what should we do? Damn it. Well, that's obvious. If we're gonna get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? So Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? Alright, All right, I'm gonna do it! Prepare yourself! Prepare yourself! Like... Yeah, we might be able to learn about something. About Hope Speak Academy. About ourselves. Uh... I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey, hey we can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? Hmm. If that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes! He's... right. Now's not the time to bemoan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is, what's happened to Host Peak Academy, none of that matters. What's important is, I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But... Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So, why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should know already that we'd never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey! So what are we gonna do? Can we start already? Hmm... But what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? Even so... Even so, I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> well, I'll just go on ahead for now! Whoa. Hey, you're already going? Jeez. What is that idiot thinking running ahead without being cautious? Man. She obviously isn't thinking about anything. However. It will be fine. There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. All right. So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. If we stopped at the green light, we'd never reach our goal. Jeez. Akane already took off on her own. It might be faster if we split up and look around too. Huh. Like Sonya said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then let's get this over with and go home. Later. I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. With those brief words, Fuyihiko left the gym. Excuse me. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonya took a deep bow, then left the gym. Oh my. Miss Sonya. Miss Sonya. Miss Sonya! Please don't leave me. I'll be in danger if I'm left alone. Kazuchi chased after Sonya, who had just departed and also left the gym. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more and it's gonna end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual peaceful everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand, 
and that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely gonna go home. Okay, we're investigating what I have no clue, but I kind of want to check something. Remember in the first Danganronpa, everybody had their own room on the first floor? Wait, why are we on the fifth floor? Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gym, but it's clearly different. Is this Monokuma's doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he's doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not going to fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. See, this is why I think that it's not even real, because in the first Danganronpa game, the gym was on the first floor, we left the gym, and now we're on the fifth floor? Get out of here with all this cap, dude! This hallway, there's a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. I am concerned. Is it just me? Invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. You know, some Hunger Games type shit? Because look, check me out! Everything's blocked off except this! And yeah, looking like the Matrix real heavy right now. And I can't even go in here. So if this wasn't even real, then the simulation or whatever the hell this is would make me go where the simulation wants me to go because I can't just move freely. So everything is pretty much predetermined. So I had to go in here all along. I had to go inside of the dojo, which is where somebody died. I forgot who it was in the first Danganronpa game. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside of a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense? But there's something right here. It's a book. Huh? What is this? Is this a manga? The title is... Manga for Morons. It's a history of Host Peak Academy by Monokuma. Why is a manga with such a sus-looking title laying out in the open like this? Let's start with history first, class! Hey! Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first, you ask? That depends on the person! So just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how sus it looks. The hell does that even mean what he said? I really want to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be included getting out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an intro to Host Peak Academy's history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an intro to Host Peak Academy. Host Peak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Host Peak Academy's teachers who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Host Peak Academy isn't just a school of talent, it is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope's Peak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the Reserve Department. The expenses and exam fees for the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope's Peak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hope's Peak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope's Peak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope's Peak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Host Peak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. I'm so sick of saying Host Peak Academy, man. Shit. The end. Thank you, God. I don't gotta say it anymore. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phrases mentioned at the end of this manga. The tragedy and the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. These names are so melodramatic. There's no way these incidents really happen, right? This manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... No, it'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something because of this manga. The Reserve Department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of the Reserve Corps students, right? Huh, that's weird. Oh, you're here again. Ah, the thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Why did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? 
The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that too. What do you want me to say? Huh, based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those Reserve Corps students. I got it! Or you willingly sealed those memories yourself. Huh? <laughs> you wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often. Not that I'd know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a Reserve Corps student. Damn it, what the heck? Oh, we got a bullet? Reserve Department has been added to the... Okay, so we just got done going to the dojo. Kazuichi's right there. I don't feel like talking to him. I guess I'm going to go inside a 5A. Okay, I'm going to go inside a 5A. What's in here? Who's in here? Oh, there's a thing on here. Isn't that another manga? This is another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one is Manga for Morons, The Tragedy of Host Peak Academy, huh? Okay, I guess. Wasn't the tragedy of Host Peak Academy mentioned in the other manga too? It's why Host Peak Academy went bankrupt then. It was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. Okay, I guess I'll read that shit. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated, stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is... As the name suggests, the tragedy of Host Peak Academy occurred at Host Peak Academy. No shit! The key player in that event was a student named Izuru Kamakura. Izuru was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Host Peak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents. Wielding a superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izuru as the ultimate hope. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izuru's origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. But Izuru, who was known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students of Host Peak Academy Student Council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru! However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izuru's superior talent and conceal the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the Academy did, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of Reserve Corps students who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. And the uprising began. And that heralded Host Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Eventually, the incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Work cited, Danganronpa Zero. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty freaking creepy though. He killed 13 people? With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Host Peak Academy. Isn't it in this classroom too? What irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident, a talent like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. Oh, you should be lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they had given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here, it said that the reserve corps students in the reserve department began uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Tragedy of Host Peak Academy has been added to the- BOOM! BOOM! Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy of Host Peak Academy, but the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. 
Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna be finding a bunch of mangas that we add to the truth bullets, so we really are having another class trial. What the hell is this room? It's freaking cold in here. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. This dude is so freaking dramatic. Give me that Monokuma plush under there, bitch. There's another manga just laying around here. This time the title is... Manga for Morons. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was that incident really all about? It might turn out to be something lame. I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. How many times are we going to say that? It's like a tie for, like, Hope Speak Academy. How many times are we going to say the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? How many times? Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself? Is that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with a sentence. The tragedy of Hope Speak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hoswick Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then it was too late, the ends and the means had vanished, and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon, the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times, when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring around the world. A war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization, devoted to a certain student who influenced Host Peak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Host Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society used their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. Damn, that was a lot to take in. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What's happened to them? No hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh my, you don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough. What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that, such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened, and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible! How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real! Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world! I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. 
On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world, so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope, just like now. Perhaps, no. That's definitely it. The tragedy has been added to the I want to tell you guys what's on my mind. So basically, remember how they said that there's a main cast? I... Uh-oh. Did I skip all this? Monokuma said that there was a main cast coming. I wonder who it is. Is it the remaining survivors of the first game? I hope it is. Dojo? No, I'm not going inside Dojo. Where do I go? Where's the hoe gonna go? I went there. There's nothing here. Actually, right here. 5B. Okay, so every time I get a new manga and I get a new truth bullet, a new classroom unlocks. So, let's see which one this is. Oh, Fuyihiko and Monokuma? What the? No, I should ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see him. <laughs> just pretend he didn't see him. Alright, uh, there's nothing even in here. Fuyihiko, what's good, my guy? Jeez. When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> It's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. Well, I guess one of us has to. Why, hello, Hajime! I hope you're doing pleasingly well. Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No. Well, no. there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up. What did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that key piece of info you've been waiting for so long. What? Surprise! It's about the ultimate despair. Huh? Hmm. Ahem. Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, Actually. it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. Uh, high school girl? Yes, Lady Junko Inoshima. Junko Inoshima. Hey, As the former um... ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor and created the ultimate despairs. <laughs> there was only one really horrible person in that group. Hold on one sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's definitely not easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some messed up organization created by a high school girl. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason the incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? Then what was her purpose? Huh? What? Like I said, why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they'd do what they did without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko and Oshima's despair. Huh? For Junko and Oshima... Despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko Enoshima as Junko Enoshima. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. Junko Enoshima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving. For her, everything is despair. What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea has been slammed right into their minds. And so, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated by Junko and Oshima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. They dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair, all in Junko Inoshima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed there was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. 
Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Host Week Academy? Final days? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the Reserve Department? Of course! They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students of the Reserve Department all committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? All 2,357 students? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded, huh? Is it Hajime? Is that me? Damn it. I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair, Junko and Oshima. Heh, <laughs> doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Bastard. Junko and Oshima's already dead. Huh? Okay, wait. Wasn't Junko and Oshima Monokuma in the first place? So who's Monokuma then? Well, we got two bullets for the price of one. Fuck yeah, man. Let's get out of here. Junko and Oshima's already dead. What does that mean? What does Fuihiko know about that? Yeah, I don't know. But let's talk to him about it. Hey, Fuihiko. Is it true what you said? Junko and Nishima is really dead? Huh? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons, Killing School Life, in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait, what was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hosping Academy. As I recall, their mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with lots of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko Onoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Onoshima is dead. Did I just read Hajime's lines in Puihiko's voice? I've been doing that a lot lately, huh? God damn it. It turns out that killing school life was part of that whole biggest, most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Host Week Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Host Week Academy, and she took away their memories, just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. Tch, there's a limit to being a cruel asshole. Surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? Oh. The students of Host Week Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up! <laughs> but that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Ishima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, <laughs> she took her own life. Then, Junko was no more. <laughs> no matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Bastard. Junko Onoshima isn't alive anymore! Then, who is our enemy? If Junko Onoshima's already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble that killing school life. Hm. Well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... Hm. An imitation is just that, an imitation. No shit. If the students from Hell's Week Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But if this really is an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? The camera's all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere, just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Life? Okay, you know what? The game key's glitching out, so yeah, I think it is an imitation, but we're getting a lot of bullets. Man, Hajime, you totally know about that story, huh? What? Do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna oh well, do? I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh. One step at a time, you're getting closer to clearing my character route. You're not making sense again. Well, now. now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including info on the outside and the inside. I'll raise them flags like crazy! Damn, he's actually making me lose my voice. Huh? It changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that I'm not gonna be surprised. That's right, there's no more time for me to be surprised by something like this. Yeah, with all this shit happening right here, there's no way this is real. Like, look at this. There's some floating tombstone in front of me. This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. Monuments? Looks like it's some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in a music room? And not just that, 
The mark engraved into the monument is the symbol of the future foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a short passage engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. They love saying that line, right? This game loves saying that line. The graduates of Hose Peak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hose Peak Academy? Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up. Okay, so Future Foundation's origins. Those are the people from the first game, right? Or am I missing something? What is this? Words are floating in the air. This is like a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained info, a person who claims to be a survivor of Host Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Host Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I do not believe the group can go that far without Junko and Nishima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Host Week Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World Program. Survivors of Host Peak Academy? 15 students? Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki, who is part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore. Maybe we're starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we lost. I guess that's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Host Peak Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko and Nishima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only future foundation facility we found was the ancient ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there are still so many mysteries. Okay, well, we're about to figure it out right now, even though there's so much reading happening right now. Man, my jaw is like, woo! My jaw is woo right now, you know what I mean, guys? This feels different from a classroom. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy gonna be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up already. List of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters. Just below that are names I've seen before. No shit, dude. That's everybody that you were just on the island with. Who's this Albert Einstein looking dude? An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the placard says, Host Peak Academy's founder, Izuru Kamakura. Oh, the ultimate ho. The founder of Hosui Academy, and this name, Izuru Kamakura. Doesn't this clearly contradict the info I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. Okay, well we got the truth bullet of the ultimate ho. What about this? There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Yoko Sayonji is written there. What is this newspaper? What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sayonji. This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew was a whiny lo ho. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. But the photo in this newspaper... In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure... It's too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? Huh? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sayonji here. Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same first and last name. I mean, 
That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Yeah. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong. She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the Seonji family's only daughter. Hmm. If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you That's saying? Hyoko. Huh? Of what are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt? What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, well, regardless, all the clues what? I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is the truth? If this is the truth, then the Hyoko in this newspaper, is he really saying that this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why? Why does this even exist? Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Hyoko's body? Oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? Uh, what's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. List of subjects has been added to the... Okay, let's check out this hologram, because this thing has been doing its thing. There are letters floating in the air, like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko and Ashima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko and Ashima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is an order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much all-out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Okay, so that email was written to the Future Foundation telling them to eliminate the remnants of despair, but there is no clue of who the remnants of despair are, right? Are we about to find out, or was there a clue all along and I'm just not understanding it? Okay, with this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, Hajime. You shall now go on to the next stage. Next stage. Thank you, uh, Monokuma. I'm so confused right now. So the Future Foundation is trying to help the students, like uh, Hajime and Kazuichi and everybody? Or are they using us to try to bait the Despair people to come out? I don't know. The hallway is different from the last time. I guess when that flag Monokuma mentioned is raised, I moved to a different hallway than the last. But how can he do that? No, now's not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just going to waste my energy. Well, I mean, he can do it because I really don't feel like all this shit is real. That's why my screen keeps glitching out like this. But yeah, maybe those emails are to the Future Foundation and they're using the 15 students to bait out the remnants of despair. It's a file with Host Peak Academy seal on it. It says confidential. That means this is a big secret, right? Why would an important document be here? Why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file. About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Host Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms, and I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. 
The Hope Cultivation Plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope's Peak Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? Hope Cultivation Plan has been added to the... You know what I do. Alright, there's another one of these things that I gotta read. This hologram again. What's this one say? It looks like another email passage. Regarding the report we gave to you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new info to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Okay, so maybe I was right. Maybe the 15 students, aka Hajime, Kazuichi, Fuihiko, all of them, were used to bait out the remnants of despair. I think that's why they're on Jabberwock Island. It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? Well, I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation set this all up. What's this? My, my, Hajime! If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse! It's your fault! What is this hologram thing anyway? Hey! It's um... exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can even do that? Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many talents. No. Well, no. who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. His true identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. Yeah, who the hell is controlling Monokuma? That's the big answer here because whoever's controlling him is the remnant of despair. Look at this. Look at this upside down shit. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so. What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. I think you got that right, Hajime. This is disconnected from reality. Look at this. She's not even really here right now. It's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Akane is twitching her nose and examining her surroundings. Based on my They're gut definitely real close. At least that's what my gut is telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Hmm. Huh? Let's see, my gut feeling is... They're both! Yo. He's right, they're both! Both? What do you mean? You. I don't know any details. It's just my gut after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Yeah. Ain't no way this shit's real. Bro, I feel like I'm on the right track right now. Library. Are we only going to the rooms that we went to in the first Dong and Rumpa? Did somebody die in the library? Because maybe the only places we can go to are where people from the first Dong and Rumpa died. This must be a library. Monokuma probably left something here too. I should hurry up and find it. Like, I bet you we're going to be able to go to the cafeteria. There's a hologram right here. Yeah, baby. This hologram again. It must be another one of the Future Foundation's emails. I should read it. There's no doubt that it's another clue. To Future Foundation 14th Division. Makoto Naegi! Hey! My Egi! Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep those people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to Makoto Naegi. But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? Huh. Did he or was he the one that wrote that? Oh no, but I'm getting a shitload of clues. I got enough ammo to last me lifetimes. Alright, what are we missing here? That was it? That was it? Okay, it was just one email. 
can uh, Monokuma just give me one computer filled with all the emails, please? For the love of everything that is holy? Okay, where? Oh, got Akane. Okay, Akane is glitching the fuck out, man. She twitching and she's glitching. I got one more room I know I gotta get to. Here we go. 2B. Let me sip on this. Oh, man, I'm running out, everybody. My throat is getting dry, too. Huh? Didn't I walk into a classroom? I don't really get it, but um, this looks like the laundry room. There's no use worrying about it, but I was in a school, and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. This, there could be laundry rooms in school. Oh, there's a Monokuma plushie. Give me that shit. This looks like a tablet computer. It looks like the power is on, too. Is this the next clue? I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. This word, Neo World. I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. The Neo World program has another name. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The Neo World program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software to develop the Neo World program. Individuals such as the ultimate programmer, the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Is this what the students are going through right now, the Neo World program? Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with info contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing this device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. I think the 15 students that are on Jabberwock are part of the Neo World program. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until all I feel is... Despair. Despair. Ah! I scream loudly, as if I were confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. I'm starting to accept that. This, this, there's no way. Something as crazy as this actually exists. Nice. You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character route. <laughs> now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including me too? Okay, so this Neo World program is actually a very crucial clue. Because everything in this world is glitching out. Maybe the Neo World program is malfunctioning because it's such high risk because they weren't allowed to take it this far. That's what I'm starting to think. Because I was already having my suspicions when everybody who was dead started coming back to life. So look at this. I mean, the game is already bugging out. Hiya. Hey, how you doing? Did you enjoy the Killing School trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. Woohoohoo! You guys are the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it! Woohoohoohoohoohoohoo! Bro, I deserve a like for reading all that. I mean, I know it wasn't complicated, but I was doing my thing. This hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but... But yeah, Neo World Program. I'm telling you all. We bought that life. We did it. I'm not going to talk to her. The world is collapsing around us. Monokuma's chilling right there. One B. All right, I think this is the starting classroom. This is the closest thing to the entrance of the school. So look at this. Okay, big object. Let's examine this big bitch. Is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this big would be floating like this. But what in the world is it? And the moment I looked at that object... Oh, um... God damn, who the hell's that again? Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World Program. A person? floating person is talking to me. Who is it? No, is this even a person in the first place? Um, not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. Is it Chihiro? Is that the name Chihiro? 
It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. Wait, let me make sure I'm saying it right. Chihiro, right? Yeah, Chihiro, aka Alter Ego. He can talk, but what are you? Alter Ego? Artificial Intelligence Program? I am the master program behind the Neo World Program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the Observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Hold on! My brain can't follow what you're saying! Let me gather my thoughts first! Damn it, it's that feeling from earlier again. This floating, floating, like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet or the ground, like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has omitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detailing Jabberwock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I am to answer your question, where is this place? The answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances. For example, this school you're in. It appears this space is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of its words. I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it as truth. It would make much more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel... I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths. They're all just fiction. Is that? Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World Program used for in the first place? The Neo World Program serves only one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you can say it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope? But the fact that we're here and the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step toward replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the installed memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Removing memories of any time period you set it to? So Monokumo was right. We did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me too. Booting the program on the survivors of Host Peak Academy, while it's still in its experimental stage, I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? That's the only thing I can think of. It sounds like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? Um, I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable, I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the Observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. Okay, so Monami and Chiaki. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all, but the observer in the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they've created, there is no risk of abuse. 
But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. Okay, so Monokuma is the virus? It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What? Is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but the function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it stole the portion of my abilities which contained my authority to build the world. It was like it was a grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. She's probably talking about Monokuma Rock in the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Future Foundation created. I can tell that just by communicating with her. Which means this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses this Alter Ego? If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the heck? An artificial intelligence waging an attack against another one? That's so freaking irritating! But how did that virus infect the Neo World program? The Neo World program exists in isolation. It's impossible it was infected through a network. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation's facility. But the only person who could enter that facility is someone who was a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? Damn, that was a lot of information to take in. Observers has been added to the truth bullet. So has the Neo World program. I think that's the most important thing too. Knowing about the Neo World program. Ah, but it's true that the virus is powerful and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it. But I'm still able to defend the essential areas. So it has a limit too. A limit. If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Okay, even if you're just a god in the machine, that's enough hints from you. If you're gonna say something more, suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it could be parallel to... The deflection based on the definition of existence that constitutes the relationship from there, the paradigm changes the results by, okay, what the hell? So we're all part of the Neo World program and we were supposed to live a peaceful life, but Monokuma is the virus that has infected us all. Somebody uploaded the virus to make us relive basically the events from the first Danganronpa and kill each other and cause chaos in this world. So that's what I'm getting from this. So it all makes so much sense. What the heck? What just happened? You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Is that Makoto? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Maybe he can't hear my voice from this side? I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video's feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The things you guys were forced to do. We were forced to watch it. Well, I'm sorry that you had to watch it. We had to live it. We had to be the one stabbing. Forced to watch us? I really want to save you right away. But because of the virus's interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. That is Makoto! That's our Nyegi! If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to is right here. I hope. Looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just, who is this guy anyway? Is he our ally? Since there's no time, I'm gonna say what I need to say and believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it was too late. But it's not just the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, 
I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all! I wanted to save you guys! Save us? What did he want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam ground, right? You know, 11037. 11037. That's the number we found at an Izumi castle. The door to the ancient ruin was supposed to open after you all finished gathering the hope fragments. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. It's funny that Makoto remembers the 11037 thing. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. Like, it's funny that he used that as the password. That's the reason I left that 11037 password in, a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought Nagito, who saw it first, would erase that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I've entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they are going to crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario where an observer who has the role of a teacher goes rogue, I prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the Force Shutdown Sequence. Force Shutdown Sequence? Even a teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this that you guys can choose on your own, independently of the Observer. Which means even if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the Force Shutdown Sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number. Uh, uh, God... Damn it, come on, give me some of that. Come on, tell me what's right! Give me what's good, Makoto! God damn you! Okay, well, we fully glitched out. So what do you want now, Monokuma? Death, 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 death? Mm -hmm. Okay, we love death. What? what was that just now? No, I didn't say I love death. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ajime, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing, really. Mm -hmm. I see. Anyway. Oh, well, anyway, that's all the hints you're gonna get. If that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, I'm gonna butt in again! Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. It'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon, a very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But what do we have to do our best at? The mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear, but still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all that be meaningless too? When the world is slipped over and becomes so irrational, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If we're part of the Neo World program and this is all a simulation, then does that mean nothing happened and nothing exists in this world? You know what I mean? Okay, let's get out of here. I guess we have so much more to solve. Bro, this is a long ass episode. I've been recording for two hours. Oh, ding dong, bing bong, baby! Yeah! Alright. Oh, my throat thanks the ding dongs and the bing bongs. And pause on that. My throat thanks the ding dongs? What the hell did I just say? we just plunge right in? God, my throat thanks the ding dongs. It's Holy time shit. For the long awaited graduation exam. All right, cool. Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> See you soon. All right, cool. A red door, huh? It's just a waste of time thinking about what this all means right now. For now, I need to finish this. I need to just focus on that. 
Okay, so we are going to go through the red door right here. We are going to do the graduation exam. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the final thing that we have to do in this game. I don't need 50,000 likes on this video to get to the next one. We are going to end Danganronpa in the next video. Just give me time to make it. If you all enjoyed this video, though, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!